Okay, today we're going to be using the Games Factory 2 to make a very uh, simple Flappy Bird style game. So I'm going to go File New, and this is our storyboard editor. Uh, this is where all our levels for the game go. So for now, I'll leave this as it is. I'm just going to double click on it to edit it. And you can see we've got a very boring white background. So the first thing I want to do is make a sky, a quick background. So go Insert, New Object. And if you don't see all these things, just make sure you click on All Objects. And we're actually looking for Quick Backdrop. So I'm just going to click there. I've got this grey tile. Uh, I don't want it grey, so if we just go over here, let's just change the colour. I don't know, I think it's that kind of colour in Floppy Bird. And I'm just going to drag this up here. And if you hover your mouse over the edge, you should be able to just expand this area. That's it, just to fill everything. You might find it easier when you're uh, designing your levels just to zoom out a little bit. So, just move that to 50%. Okay, so that, that is our level, but not very exciting at the moment. We need, uh, first of all, I think we need a player character. Now, if you're not very good at drawing, it's, it's dead easy to do a simple bird. I'll show you in a second. Um, to create our character, or our sprite, we're going to go Insert, New Object. And in the Games Factory, um, objects like player characters and enemies, they have to be active objects. So we just double click here. And I'm going to just click where I want my bird to be. And you can see we've just got this very simple stand-in thing. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Uh, that's probably about the right size for what we want to be honest, but we can resize it if you want. You can just click on it, make it a little bit bigger. And now I want to double click on it. So obviously we don't want this um, diamond shape, so I'm going to click New. And I also want to zoom in a little bit. Um, now I don't want anyone saying, oh I can't draw, I can't draw a bird. It's simple, just draw a V. There you go, instant bird. Uh, but to avoid copyright restrictions, I'm not going to do floppy bird, I'm going to do uh, a flying pig. So I'm going to clear that. And I can use the ellipse tool. I just need to select that to make it filled. But you can have whatever character you want. I just want a pig, because pigs are funny. I can use that tool just to give him some legs. I mean, you can make yours as nice looking as you want. That's my pig. I'm going to do it without wings just for the moment, and I'll show you why in a minute. I want to add a few uh, basic frames of animation. So what we can do, see so there's a little plus here that says clone frame. So I'm just going to click that three times. So now I've got frame one, two, and three. So now, with frame one selected, um, let me just change my brush size. I can draw his wings. Oops, that's the wrong colour. So I'll draw one frame with his wing up, one frame with his wing sideways, and one frame with his wing down. You can also use these keys to go back and forwards to check out your animation. Um, finally, we just need to go direction options and we need to set a loop so it plays those three frames forever. Um, let me just play it, see what it looks like. That's actually not too bad. If it was going too fast or too slow, you have got a speed setting there. But that will probably do for what we want to do at the moment. Okay, so we've got our pig. The next thing we need is some uh, obstacles for the pig to hit, so that when he hits it, he dies or the game finishes. Um, there's a few ways of doing that. We could use some pre-made graphics. Uh, you should have at the bottom of your screen something that says library or local library. Uh, I have known it sometimes that if it's the first time you run it, this is actually hidden. So, you so if you do find that that is not there for some reason, you actually have to go up to uh, view, toolbars and library just to get that back or if you close it by mistake. Um, it's not very well organised, the stuff's all over the place. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look in games. Uh, platform would probably be a good place to start. Platformer pack. And you can create your own by going new active object and just draw something simple. Uh, so I'm in the walls and tiles bit. Um, we can. That looks quite similar to what they use in Flappy Bird, I think. 
But the trouble is, because this is a quick backdrop, th these are obviously normally background items, so your pig would just sort of be in front of them um, and they wouldn't be able to interact with them much. So what I think we need to do is we need to convert this into an active object. So if we right click and go create, create active object. Now unfortunately that's then made it a little bit small. So it's going to be a little bit pixelated. Um, if you did, if you weren't happy with that look, which I'm not really, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it doesn't matter. If you double click, uh, zoom out a bit, you could, uh, you know, you could clear it and and make your own. Perhaps use the fill tool. Oops. You know, put a pattern in it. But if you're not very good at drawing, you might just want to use the pre-existing stuff. I think I'll, I'll make this nice stripy pattern. I don't know. That'll do for now, anyway. You, you get the idea. And uh, we should probably rename this. If I can remember how you do it. Name. So I've gone up there on the about thing, and I'm going to call it wall. You can also right-click the objects and go rename, which would probably be easier. So I'm going to call that one pig. And I'm going to move this sort of over here for now, I think. So, what we need to do now is we need to set the basic movement of the characters. So, now this isn't the definitive way of doing this, so I might be doing this totally wrong. This is how I do it, anyway. Um, we need to click on the pig, and you see here we've got a little movement tab. So I'm going to click on that. And if we click on the movement type, we've got all sorts of different things we could do, like you can turn him into a platform character like Super Mario or a racing car or whatever. Um, for this, I tend to use Bouncing Ball. And I need to set a few things. His speed is probably okay for now. We need to set the number of angles, because we only really want him to go up and down. So the minimum we can use is 8, unfortunately. Um, and his initial direction, if we click on that, and it's saying these are all the directions he can go. I'm actually going to click reset and I'm going to click down and up. So we can only go up or down basically, so that's fine. Next I'm going to click on the wall and for this movement I'm going to set it to eight directions. So again we can click on the directions it's allowed to go, reset that, and I'm just going to set it so it'll only go left. 